getting started and here are my ingredients. I'm going to make a barbecue chicken pizza. And I've got a, I mean it's a non-stick pan cooking sheet, but I hate cleanup, so put down some tin foil. And I make mine on crescent roll dough. Usually I get the fat free, or not fat free, but reduced fat kind, and then just push it together, but these ones are the like whole sheet dough sheet so I'm just gonna do that and you cook it almost according to pretty much according to the directions you preheat the oven to 375 this is a dark pan so 350 put your ingredients on there add your whatever and then you bake for 10 to 13 minutes so I am going to put this out on the sheet and then I'm going to take some of this chicken. It's in a mesquite marinade, which I've never actually had, but we're going to try. I'm just going to take one piece of this. I'm going to use the rest of it for another dinner and lunches for my husband throughout the week. But I'm going to take one piece of this and put it in this frying pan and cook it up first while that's baking. And in that pan, I just have a little bit of Pam nonstick coconut oil. So I will get that started and I will show you where I go from there. All right, I got my sheet all rolled out. Just about to put my chicken down. And I don't know why, but I felt I needed to point this out. That on here, I know you can't see it, but it says to push the line on here with a spoon. I'm sorry, but nobody does that. Maybe you do, but I don't. I bang the crap on the counter until it pops. That's the whole point of having a crescent roll dough. But yep, I'm going to go ahead and grab a fork. Actually, I'm grab some tongs. And I'm going to just get one piece because I don't need a ton of chicken. I'm just going to let the extra drip off. It doesn't like smell bad, but I don't know. We'll see if I like it or not. And no, my pan is not hot. I'm willing to take that risk. Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and cook this up and put this in the oven for 12 minutes. And then I will let you guys know when I get there. And because this is the kind of cook I am, here is a half of a little tiny onion. Usually I would use a whole red onion and I would saute it down, but... I I have no onion apparently. I always have onion, but I have a half of onion left from burgers the other night. So I'm just gonna, usually I would saute it all by itself, but I figure what the heck, we're just kind of winging it tonight. So yeah, let's stamp me. I'm just gonna break up my onion in here with my chicken. What the heck? My husband always gets a call and he's usually almost home and I'm like, oh, I forgot this one ingredient. No matter what, I'm always forgetting something, so. Yep, I'm just going to let these saute up. And But yeah, I'm going to let that go ahead and cook up. I don't know if you can see that. Oven is at 350. Oven was a little hotter when I put it in because, as per usual, I somehow always bump it and it gets bumped up. So when I looked at it, it was at like 450. So, but I don't need to let it preheat for too long anyway because I'm just, you know, lazy like that. But yeah, I'm just going to let these. Go ahead and let those saute up for a minute. Then I will flip my chicken. And we got about eight minutes left on the crust. If anything out, I flip my chicken over. And now I'm going to put a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter spray on my onions. And a little bit of just some garlic powder. Just 
just to give them a little extra flavor because they're very sparse. So, hey, I'm gonna have like the weirdest barbecue chicken pizza ever. <laughs> well, it's not weird, but for me at least. And the chicken actually, it smells pretty good now that it's cooking. The marinade, I wasn't so sure about, but I'll have to look first on how it tastes. But it smells pretty good. Guys, um, my timer went off, so I'm going to go ahead and move my piece of chicken over here to my cutting board, and then I'm going to just, please excuse my dirty, I was watching part of my video, and yeah, so I'm going to put my onions over there, and just grab out the crescent. I just cooked it until it's like a golden brown. Leave your oven on because you're going to put your stuff back in to melt your cheese. Um, but, ooh, I got my chicken. I'm just going to let that rest for a minute while I put my barbecue sauce on. All right, so you just take it and this is kind of a as you want sort of a thing. I just sort of squirt it on there. I like a lot of barbecue sauce. I guess I could show you. I'm using just Sweet Baby Ray's. I never used to be like a particular person about it until I tried Sweet Baby Ray's. And now it's like the only barbecue sauce I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this out. I like to spread it all the way to the edge. Again, this is all just personal preference because it is going to caramelize a little bit. Just go ahead and spread it out however you want. Spread those out. Usually I would have so much onion that it would cover, I guess I could show you guys, um, cover the entire thing. So this is really hard for me, I'm not going to lie. To just use this sparingly because I love onion. Thankfully my husband does too. Otherwise I don't think we ever would have worked out. <laughs> but alright, I'm going to cut up my chicken and then I will show you when I put that on. All right, so I got my chicken cut up and put on there, and I'm glad I tasted it because I'm not loving the mesquite seasoning, so I'm going to change the other stuff, rinse it off, and put something else on. But I almost hate to show you guys this because it's so sparse. Usually it would just have like a thick coating of red onion on there that I've caramelized down, and probably about this much chicken, maybe a little bit more. But I just diced that up and sprinkled it over the onion, and then I'm going to go ahead and use some pepper jack cheese. You can use pepper jack or you can use um, mozzarella. Usually I'll use mozzarella. This is actually the second time, the other, the second half of this, that I've used the shredded pepper jack. I've never actually used that before. I always just shred it myself. But I'm gonna actually go ahead and just put the rest of this half on. You just sprinkle it on as you see fit. <laughs> Again. That's the hard part about this is like there is no exact recipe. It's just sort of you wing it and you throw it together however you want. All right, I used up all of that and then I don't, <laughs> again, and something I don't usually use. And for my chicken, the way I usually would do it is I would just cook it in a pan with some garlic, pepper, and some Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. It's the chicken grilling blends. I usually put a little bit of that and some garlic pepper on it and cook it up. But I'm going to try something different tonight because I like feta cheese on regular pizza. So I figured what the heck. I got some in the fridge. I'm going to try a little bit. Just a few little pieces. Um, half of it and see how I like it. It just kind of gives it like a salty note. I bought this cheese to do on regular pizzas, but I haven't done it, so I figured what the heck. 
I'll give it a little try. I mean, you don't want to put way too much on there because it is quite salty, but it just, I don't know. It's so good. If you ever go to Cottage Inn, get their thin crust pizza and get this on it. It is so good. So I'm just going to try that on half and then I will let you guys know how it turns out. I got it all cut up. I got the plain normal side and then the side with feta. It's a burger on my sa <laughs> sauce on my fingers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I cut mine into four or in eight pieces. You can cut yours into however many pieces you like, obviously. Going fancy on some paper plates here, so because I haven't ever had the feta, so we'll go ahead and try that. Hmm. It's not bad. It's pretty darn good with the feta. Pretty happy with it. Might do feta from now on. All right. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Have a good night.